Tree Haul and welcome to another Dollar Tree Haul. Now, I did go to Dollar Tree a little while back when I had maybe like five or six bucks cash in my wallet and I was like, I just want to use this on something because I've been checking Dollar Tree constantly to see if they get etched wooden Easter eggs because I do want to do Easter eggs. Not yet haven't seen them yet but they have slowly been getting in some Easter stuff and spring stuff I know when Valentine's is over we'll get more of that good stuff so I did get a few floral crafts there's a pick I guess it's supposed to be like a fern I don't know uh, there's a couple tulip ones and I can stick these because I kind of want to make my flower baskets again. Well, I have a broken pot. Um, if you saw in yesterday's Daily Doodle. And I'm like, even a broken pot can still be used, right? So I might stick these in there when I finish what I'm planning to do with it. Then there's this little white, or the little fence with the flowers. I'm thinking, white fence with flowers. But if I'm doing this in black light stuff, I can put glow in the dark over the white of the fence. Yeah. I wish there was like, if y'all remember the crackle nail polish, which was really freaking cool. And I still have like a couple bottles. I know one definitely still works. Crackle paint. Probably expensive as shit. So yeah, not going to happen here. But crackle paint on the fence would look really cool. And they also had this Dreams Blossom watering can with flowers and a little bit of fly on it. So yeah, I'm gonna have fun painting this one with black light paint. I don't know what the watering can's gonna be yet, but we'll figure it out when we come to it, so. That's the mini haul. Now the main haul, which was yesterday. And it's the end of my birthday vacation, unfortunately. Um, and it wasn't the greatest birthday vacation I could have had, but it also could have been a lot worse. Now, one of those things Dollar Tree has, aside from, you know, toys, the craft stuff, you know, their snacks, candy. But if you actually look through the snacks, you can, and candy even, you can find stuff that you don't find anywhere else. One snack I used to love when I was younger and I didn't even know anything about it until a friend in school, like, let me try one because he had some at his lunch. And that was corn nuts. Now, I saw ranch and barbecue flavor, too. And then there was, like, a chili tahine flavored one. And then there was, like, a couple different spicy ones. I'm like... I, the only bad thing is I can't eat these anymore because I can't eat corn anymore. I end up on the toilet for a while the next day, so. No more corn for Mystic. Sad, sad. Oh yeah, that's going to be a top 10 list. Corn things that I miss. This is definitely on there. <laughs> but Munchkin likes them, so I got those for her. Now. If that wasn't nostalgia enough for y'all, I know this one will be. For those of you who are over 40 and remember these as a kid, the little wax bottles with artificial sugar and flavor in them, and you drink whatever comes out and then chew on the wax. I don't think I've ever let Munchkin try these, or I might have, I'm not sure. But yeah, they do have these in the candy area of Dollar Tree. So if you want to relive some no nostalgia, go grab a pack. And it's cool because I ran into another couple who also remembered these when they were younger. And they're like, yeah, let's grab some for the kids and see what they think. So yeah, take a hit. And I haven't had one in forever, so her and I are splitting those. And now I also noticed... When looking over, because if you just actually take the time to look through Dollar Tree, like, if you have that kind of time, you might find things that you never would have expected. So, 
I'm guessing these are Japanese or Chinese. Probably Chinese. Um, Hello Panda. I think I've heard of them, but I'm not 100% sure. So I got the chocolate ones and caramel, because Munchkin likes caramel, so she might like those. But I've never heard of, like, I've. I feel like I've heard of them somewhere, but I can't remember. So we'll see how good these are, and this, these will be a uh, Mystic Munchies mini uh, video. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, keep up with my shorts, guys, because my shorts aren't getting a lot of views. I don't know what happened to the algorithm, like, last year towards, like, in October, well, October, I mean, that was all horror stuff, so of course it was like big but they're just not good this year oh and I wonder how many of you all remember uh Zoom Zooms I guess that's how they're pronounced little uh plushy things that look kind of like pillows I got Stitch I was like oh, Stitch they have all kinds of ones they're um Disney characters but I was like no nah. Stitch is number one for me, so had to get this the mini Stitch one. And they also had Marvel ones, like Marvel hero ones. But then even in there, look, Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny, because Bugs Bunny is my favorite. So I couldn't resist those two because they're just cute. Um, no, I did get some Valentine Crafts stuff. Chain of teddy bears. I don't know. Like, the good thing is with teddy bears, she can paint them different colors. So it's like each black light color. Bam. Done. That'd be wild. I feel like it needs some glitter, though, too. And these, similar to the ones that I got off the Wish app years ago, and, you know, still have some over there. These are a little bit different. Than those because they're like it's a big heart and then there's like a bunch of little hearts in it so it's like Dollar Tree has, knows exactly what I'm looking for so there is that shape there's that one and that one they also had ones that I like how they call these ornaments, but they don't even come with the strings to hang them. Whereas these heart ones actually do have a string in them. But luckily I have some jute twine, so I could just use that. But Some of these are already painted, which is fine. I mean, I can paint the others, and it works either way. Don't matter to me. Alright, so there's one more bag. One more bag of goodies. Because she put all the big stuff in the other bag. Uh, that's only a few things. Alright, hold on. They're stuck. They're stuck. So these are, I guess, supposed to be, what is it called? Wreath rail? So instead of making like a full-blown wreath, you make this bottom part kind of like a wreath. And they do give you like an example on the tag of, you know, how to do it. But yeah, bunny butt with a fluffy tail, which is cute. And then just a normal bunny one. They had like Easter bunnies in a truck on one of them too, and I'm like, why do you always gotta put vehicles on these things? Like, no, that's just not my thing. And the last thing you'll never expect, paper plates. I oh, have it upside down. Okay, I'm pretty sure these are, yep, these are uncoated white paper plates. No coating, no wax coating on them. So, these are from... I did an accidental craft when I was growing up. Very accidental. 
Um, my parents at the time had only used the unwaxed white plates for things. Um, I did something, I think it was for school, where I had to dye white yarn and then use it for something. So I had to make it different colors and then I had to use it for something. Um, and I would just use the paper plates to dry it on. But then when I picked it up off the paper plate, it left a really cool marking on the plate. So like the color bled into the plate and it made it look really neat. So don't buy your paper plates at Walmart or anywhere else because they're friggin' ridiculous expensive. If you're going to do this, I do have white yarn. So I'm going to try to make different things on these plates on purpose with dyed yarn. Then of course I'm going to have to figure out what to use the colored yarn on after I've done it. Which I do did have a plan for that at one point. So yeah, we'll see. But yeah, like, it, I don't know why, it just makes a really neat, like, pat, it left a really cool pattern on it. And I ended up, I'm pretty sure I ended up keeping the plates just because they looked so cool after the color bled on them. So I was like, yeah, I want to buy some paper plates and just do that on purpose. So we'll see. We'll see what I get in the mood to do. So that was Dollar Tree haul for today. And until next time, hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know the fun stuff you find at Dollar Tree. And I'll see y'all in the next one.